Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the Eureka Springs channel. I'm Melody Purdy, your host. We're coming to you live. Or you may be watching us on replay, which a lot of you do. And thank you for doing that. We appreciate you guys following us here on the Eureka Springs channel. Be sure to like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And of course, uh, follow us on Instagram. And of course, we love it if you can just throw us some hearts while you're listening to this broadcast. We are showing you the things that we love about Eureka Springs, and I have another individual with me today who's going to be talking about some of the things that they are doing here in our community. I have a special guest with me, Miss Suzanne Reed, a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful artist, very, very talented. She's commissioned by a lot of people in this area to do special work, and she has a show every year, and we're going to be talking to her about that today. So you guys, welcome to the screen, Miss Suzanne Reed, and applause, applause, applause. <laughs> Thank you, Melody. That's quite the intro. <laughs> I could have gone a lot longer and a lot more in depth. You know, most of us around here know your work and appreciate the things that you are doing to con contribute to our art world here in Eureka Springs. Uh, and I love the fact that you are doing this again. So tell everybody what you're doing again. 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 This is the, yes, this is the third annual Art Nix Open House, studio open house for the holidays. And, um, it's just a really fun event each year. There are six local artists this year, and we've got um, people coming out to do uh, all kinds of stuff. I'll talk about the artists in a minute, but it's just a fun way to sort of kick off the holidays and have a little bit of fun. We'll have some food, some music, some decorations. You will not leave in a grinch, grinchy mood, I promise. <laughs> of course not. How could one ever do that around you, Suzanne? <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, really. You're like the brightest spot in town. No. So, <laughs> and your art is equally as bright and beautiful. Let's let's show some folks what you do because that's what we're here to do. Okay. Well, a lot of people know me for some of my sculptures, but for Christmas or the holidays, every year I do a uh, collection. And this year it's called dot me baby so you will see like a million dots i am just covered up in dots this year <laughs> but um so i've got the ornaments i always make a set of ornaments and then some sort of decorative item okay. so you can see here the the oh, ornaments people. yep there are six different colors with fun different colored dots on them really and people collect the the ornaments each year so they're always kind of this uh color palette yeah and then this year's decorative item is this candle holder so again, dot, that's cool. Dot dots. It is really, really cool. I can't wait for you guys to see it in person. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love the. I love what you're doing. Uh, hey. You know, and you. It is your work every year. Your but by you doing these signature pieces for every holiday, they have become really a collector's item for a lot of us. They uh, have. It's so fun. cool. Tell yeah, I love that. I love that. And I love the fact that you are so generous with your space and inviting all these people to be a part of this particular show, uh, this little holiday show. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the folks that you have joining you this year. Well, as I mentioned, I've got, there will be six of us out there. Of course, my work will be there. But one person that you just have to come and see is Doug Stowe, our very own Arkansas living treasure. He does wonderful woodworking, um, makes these boxes. He will also have some of his books there for sale. And you just really have to come out and talk to him. He is such a deep thinker and um, so generous with his with his wisdom. So please yeah. come out and see Doug and his beautiful, beautiful work. I love all and big pieces and little end boxes. I love that. Yes, yes, yeah. he does. Uh, he does a bit of both. He probably only will have the small stuff out there because my studio okay. is not quite that large. <laughs> I know. Um the next artist will be Megan Kirk. Uh, she does photography all around Eureka Springs. And so you will see some really quirky, cool, fun shots. And what she does is she then puts a story to the shot. So you, you get a little bit of the history behind it. And she just comes up with some really fun things to have about Eureka, really telling the story from here. She has a very unique talent to be able to capture the quirkiness of who we are here in Eureka Springs and a lot of the beautiful places that people are enjoy. A lot of them, I think, we take for granted sometimes, but I, uh, Megan has a really unique ability to capture right, them. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, the next artist is uh, Pat Sullivan. She does ceramics. Her her business is called Patty Cakes. And so she does these great, beautiful, um, oftentimes small 
sets to sort of nest in one another. But she's also doing some bigger work. And you can see here by some of her beautiful, beautiful glazes. She's just doing some fabulous work. So you have to come check her out for sure. Absolutely. And then one of our new artists to join us this year is Jordan U. Daly. And she does painting. And she will have a variety of different sizes and styles of her work there but she just does beautiful fabulous work i just love everything about what she does wish i could do that but i can't so <laughs> yay we've got jordan coming so those are cool and love then it. our last new artist okay this one's a little personal to me it's my dad bill henson and oh, yeah i didn't and, know that i know he is who would have thought He's, he's a funny guy, and a lot of people know him and sometimes don't realize that he's my dad, but you'll hear me talk about daddy, daddy, you know, and he does all this stuff. So at a weak moment, he agreed to put some of his wood carvings in, and so I put it on the poster and then said, you can't back out. So nice. <laughs> he'll be there, but these are amazing wood carvings. Uh, I would not carving. have guessed that I, when I was looking at it, they do, they look like I, paintings. They're they on do. wood. They're on wood. They are carved out. <gasps> so if you think about, so a flat oh piece gosh. of wood and then you carve out. So those, it, you have to see these wow. in person to believe it. He is really amazing. And this will probably be the one and only time he'll have any of this work there. So you definitely wow. want to take advantage My of that. My goodness. Oh, I'm blown away because <laughs> I thought they were paintings. No, I'm blown I know, away. I know really something oh my gosh I, i'm really proud of how good he is at all this i'm so. seriously I'm like well the apple doesn't fall far from the tree i mean talent runs well, in y'all's family that's for sure well we my certainly goodness. have a different style though and he yeah. does not always understand my style so that's okay <laughs> <laughs> well that's some that that's just that's just a, a daughter a father kind of thing i think you're talking about there uh, that that's, is so, that's just a dip so, you know, Suzanne, this has been a fantastic thing for you to do this every year. I, I love all the people that have mm. chosen to be joining you there. This is such a cool thing to do for the holidays. And I love the fact that you are giving people around an opportunity to come and buy something very unique, one of a kind of they item. Are. They yeah. are. Every single thing there will be handcrafted. And, you know, you will not find two pieces alike from any of us, I don't believe. Um, so really, I, I, I think that it's important as an artist who does have a studio space that can at least hold six of us, we're a little tight in there, but you know, I want to open that up and, and have other artists there and let people come out and see what local art looks like in Eureka Springs. Cause it is amazing. It is amazing. Truly the amazing. amount of talent that's here. It's, I still get blown away by it every time I take me, a look at it, what's happening here. Me too. I get humbled when I, when I, you know, I surround myself with better artists than me. So I love that. <laughs> so let's tell everybody now, I know this is at your studio and your studio mm -hmm. is at 1242 County Road 102. That's the Hillspeak area. Right. Um, and the Hillspeak area is off of Highway 20, 23 South. 23 South. Yeah. So go um, past Acords and you'll, you'll get there. Got it. Okay, so for mm -hmm. those who are watching. Uh, and also, just know that this is Saturday, November the 4th, from 1 till 5, uh, out there at this really beautiful, I just love Hillspeak area in general. It's just nice. to drive out there right now should be beautiful. How are the leaves looking at your place right now? The leaves look great. They're yeah. beautiful. I was kind of sad to have to come home today. I was sitting out there working, making dots, apparently. Um, <laughs> and so, I, you know, it's just beautiful being out there. I really, I enjoy that view. Yeah. So I think you, I think everybody will love it. And just one thing to know, the parking is just a little tricky out there, but we'll have somebody to help guide people of where to park. Good. You'll probably have to park up on the street and walk down. We'll have a few spaces down front. If somebody has some mobility issues, you'll just let that person know and you can pull right up to the front. Good. But um, it's all good. And, you know, we make it work. It's casual. It's fun. Yes. It's just, um, yeah, lots of, I think you'll, I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay. So cash, credit cards, uh, but no chickens and pigs, right? For payment, right? Please, no chickens and pigs. Just <laughs> currency. Probably not even currency. Bitcoin, I don't think. No Bitcoin. <laughs> so, you know, I was thinking about that. People, you know, like the range of pricing there. Mm -hmm. for, where do you start out pricing-wise from all the people that are there? Jump in from like minimum yeah. to, you know. You know, a minimum is going to be, what, 15 bucks? Yeah. You know, maximum, yeah. you know, a few hundred for some sure. things. But yeah, there's some really cool pieces that I'm sure yeah. that are just 
a lot of love went into them and right. they are worthy of a lot of little a lot yeah. of those little duckies along yeah. the way I, I do have one large sculpture that's out there that'll sort of be at the higher end of things but okay. you know and and the other nice thing is if any of the artists make something that you don't see exactly what you want every one of them will be willing to commission work for you. Oh, so, of course. You know, that makes it really great. So if you've got something very specific you want, just talk to that artist and they can yeah. they can make that happen. Well, Susan, we got a little bit more time. I wanted to ask you one question because you've been commissioned by our city auditorium. I know there's been some other installations around town where people have uh, come to you with uh, do something for us. Mm -hmm. You know, what does the year look ahead for you? Are, are you still taking commissioned pieces? Are you feeling overwhelmed yet? Where are you at with your art? Well, let's see. I'm overwhelmed with dots. But <laughs> other than that, I am. And this is, well, that's kind of, thank you for the segue. I, this is something I've been thinking about is what is it that is really my passion? And I love doing public art, larger scale work like that. And I'm going to really try to focus on that this next year and see if I can't find some other outlets and venues for people who who need that kind need of it. Mm -hmm. stuff. It can be residential or commercial, indoor, outdoor, whatever. But I really have enjoyed doing this larger sort of artwork. I, I think that there's a huge impact. And, and I think public art is particularly important because everybody needs to, I don't know, have an opportunity to see it and experience it. So mm -hmm. that is really kind of where I'm heading. Got it. And, yeah. you know, just to describe your other work that, you know, the dots are very specific. If you would like to, I, I wish I had asked you to give me one of those photographs. I should have done that. My apologies. I should. Okay. I didn't know I was going <laughs> to ask you this question. This is really live, folks. So, you know, I don't even know where I'm going <laughs> with all this stuff. But if you were to describe some of the public installation works that you have, it, how would you describe that for people without actually, actually looking at it? Well, my style is very architectural and geometric. So if you go to Harmon Park here in mm -hmm. Eureka, there are some pieces out there starting the, the art trail. Mm -hmm. And then the other really large installation is the one in the basement of the auditorium. And it is a 25 foot by 12 foot piece um, with very striking angles and mm -hmm. colors and um you know that really is kind of my style when you once you've seen it a few times you can look at something and say oh that's Suzanne's work yeah so yeah. and I love that I do I really I love it and you know you try to you try to find what inspires you and that sure. really is is what what does it for me so both the glass and the metal but you know I like yeah. that combo for sure yeah well it's beautiful work um, very impactful in the spaces it that it actually resides right now. And I can't wait to see where we might find you more public, uh, in the coming year. I, you know, if you, if you want it, you dream it, you can have it. I believe that completely. So good luck to you, Suzanne. I'm looking forward for everybody knowing about this show. And so be, I, be guys be sure and mark your calendars, November the 4th from one to 5 PM. And this is at one, four, one, two, four, two County road, one Oh two, the Hill Speak area. Get out there and do some holiday shopping with Suzanne and the gang out there. Absolutely. Thank you, Melody. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, guys. So mark your calendars. This is going to be great. I love the fact that she does this and truly an, an amazing human being Suzanne is. And the fact that she does all these things for not only her, her, her community, other artists. Uh, she's a fantastic person. It, just to go out and be with her at her studio and to meet her and all the other people that she calls friends and peers. It is an amazing after way to spend your afternoon here in Eureka Springs. So make your plans. Thank you again for joining us today here at the Eureka Springs channel. Of course, we love it if you will like us and subscribe to us and follow us and throw us some hearts. You know, we're trying to make uh, more, uh, more people know about Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And with your help, we can do that. So thanks for watching us today, and we'll see you guys again next time here on the Eureka Springs channel. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.